Hi, welcome to my uh, Unreal World New Player Guide. We just went through the uh, tutorial on character creation and escaped from the bear and hit F6 to see where we are. And we'll zoom out. And uh, what do we do now? Well, the, we want to be in, near the villages and of the cultural region Rimi. And so we're at the very northern tip of Rimi. So we're going to want to go south. And we're going to be looking for animals to hunt. Oh, first thing we're going to do, zoom in and grab a rock. Let's see what kind of weapons we have. We have bow and arrows. We might use that. It's important you find a broad knife. If you start with a broad knife, that's great. That That's uh, the most important knife because you skin game with a broad knife. And if you don't have a broad knife, you're likely to mess up the fur. You might mess up the fur anyway, but you're much more likely, less likely to if you have a, a broad knife. And you need an axe. If you don't have one of those two things, you might want to either start over, like if this is your very first game. It doesn't have to be a hand axe, it could be any kind of axe, but you want a knife and an axe. Um, and these are my father's clothes. I know that because I'm not wearing them. You can see over here, worn. So, I'm going to wear those clothes in addition to what I was already wearing. Oh, zoom back in. Wield the uh, bow and arrows. See my skills. I'm, I'm okay with a bow. That was one of the uh, skills that I chose to improve. I'm better with a spear though. So we'll go up on this mountain and see what we can see. I don't see any game yet. There's an elk. See that? There's another elk. Hmm. I think I'll go after this other elk, but I'll bookmark this first elk. Did I eyeball that right? I don't think I did. I'm looking for tracks of that, that elk that I saw from a distance. Not seeing any tracks yet. This is no fun. Let's go back and see if we can see any tracks from this elk. Wait. No. You can see I'm zooming in and out. When you zoom out, you can travel um, 
across the map more quickly. He was right where he was supposed to be, and I didn't zoom in there yet. Okay. Dough. So you see the tracks. You're encouraged. Alt-T. Learn how to do that. It says quite fresh. Okay. Notice the fatigue. That's one of the most important um, things to pay attention to in this game. You don't want to do anything fatigued. My total penalty is minus 5%. That's slowing me down. So what I'm going to do is drop all my stuff except a rock. Now I have a 1% penalty. That's better. And let's bring the, the food I have that doesn't weigh very much. Still at 1%. Still at 1%. And I'm still at 1%. So I've got a rock. I've got all my food. So I'm going to bookmark this location. Drop stuff here. So if I... Um, yeah, usually it would have been better if I had put it like in, this, in a clearing rather than right next to a tree. So it'll be easier to find later. But I have faith that I'll be able to find it. Oops. Okay, so now my fatigue is growing much less slowly because I'm not carrying very much. I'm going to use that to my advantage. I'm tracking the... Um, the elk visually, but it's it's a good idea to uh, use your tracking skills using Alt T. So do that frequently because you want your your tracking skill. My tracking skill is now at 56. I want to get that to 100. Most skills I think you can only level three per day at the most. So this says fresh. Um, so once you get to very fresh, that means you're getting close. Still fresh. You can, if you look closely, you can tell which direction the tracks are going in. It does take a moment to actually use the tracking skill. And so um, theoretically, it's best not to use it if you can avoid it. But at the early stages of the game, it's important to level it. And you can't level it unless you use it. So I'm using it quite frequently here. I'm chilly. I hope I don't get the cold. I did grab my father's clothing and put it on. I don't think there's much more I could have done. That's one reason you might choose a summer start. I chose a spring start, which still gives you some... Uh, ...cold weather. These tracks are confusing me. It almost looks like two elk. And I've dropped it quite fresh. I followed the wrong set. The animals will double back on themselves.
Oh, there he is. Okay. So now I see the elk. And I'm going to wield my rock. And I'm going to run at the elk. So, run. And I'm going to run three. And then I'm going to hit the period button, which rests. And then I'm going to run three. And I'm going to rest. And now the elk is running away. And I'm just going to keep running three and then resting one. And I'm following the tracks. And I can see the elk off to the west there. And I'm getting fatigued, but I'm hoping that the elk is getting more fatigued than I am. Okay, now I'm running at the elk to get it to, to run some more. And now I'm resting a couple of turns while it fatigues itself. Now I'm going to run some more. Run three and rest one. Oh, it's up there to the northwest. So I'm going to run it. Okay, it got it running again. Now you can see why I said speed was a very important um, stat to choose in character creation. Because if, you, if you're not fast, you can't run down an elk like this. I'm fatiguing. I hope the elk is too. Okay, there's the elk. Now you can hit the L button and put the little circle over the elk and it's going to say breathless. And that means the elk is out of breath and uh, you can just go over near it. You can stop running and you can kind of rest while the elk continues to try to run away from you and it will remain breathless while you rest. So I, I recommend you get your fatigue down to less than 5% and now you can use your rock and hit the elk in the body and it's unconscious. Now you can use your rock and beat it to death by hitting it in the skull. Oops. Hit it by the, in the neck by accident. Takes a while. And 
Now the Alex is dead. And you've got your first kill. Easy game, right? Okay, so um, let's bookmark this location. Dead Elk. In order to figure out how I'm doing all this stuff, hit escape. And your keyboard commands is, I guess, the question mark. And you can look through that to find out, well, how did I bookmark something? Or how did I run? Or how did I do this or that or the other thing? Okay, so we bookmark this location. Hit F6 to see we need to go east to go get our stuff. That was quite a hunt. Now this is where I wish I had... Oh, there it is down to the south. Get our stuff. Zoom back out, go back to the dead elk. And now I've got all my stuff. Drop, I'm going to drop everything except my broad knife. I'm going to rest till my fatigue is zero. And I'm going to skin the elk. Got a harsh skin. That's not the best. It says my hand feels cold. I hope I don't get frostbite. Yeah, in this game I have no mittens. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Take off, if it says something like your hand is cold or your feet are cold, you check and see, do I have anything to cover my hands? I don't. Taking off my fur shirt, and I'll make some clothing, I'll make uh, fur mittens. So I need a knife for that, not sure which knife the game will want to use, probably my fine hunting knife, but I'll pick up both of my knives. I'm going to rest off the fatigue from skinning the elk. So I've got... I've got my fur shirt, I've got my hunting knife, and my broad knife. Make clothing, fur mittens. Use my fur shirt. It's going to use my fine hunting knife. Okay, so I obtained a rough fur mittens, and so now I'm going to put my fur shirt back on. It's got a little wear to it now, and my fur mittens, and hopefully those will keep my hands uh, warmer so I don't get frostbite. Drop my hunting knife, rest fatigue, butcher the elk carcass. Okay, now I have 201 cuts of elk, elk meat. I have an elk skin. I'm hungry, but I can cook this meat and uh, go sell the rest of it. So that's uh, going to be the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it.